Today I got my large 360 degree magnet with me. What do we got? This is heavy too, I'm telling you. Whoa, whoa, we're like catching multiple things as we come up. Oh, what is that? Boom, baby, snack time. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back down by the river once again, and we're gonna be doing some magnet fishing. If you guys have been following any of my previous videos, we have been absolutely pounding this entire shoreline right next to this railroad that was built in the early 1900s. There is so much stuff in here, you guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. Today we're back out here once again. I do have my waders on. We're gonna be hopping in the river once again. I'm gonna take my magnet it with me we're gonna dip around and we're gonna see if we can find anything today all right guys we are back down by the river today i got my large 360 degree magnet with me yeah we're gonna have to do some ice breaking today you guys Ooh, look at this here, you guys. Didn't even think there was much on there. A little bolt, a little circle chip cutout piece, bunch of debris, but look at this one. That's definitely like the handle off of some kind of valve, maybe a water valve or a water knob. The outdoor hose, pretty cool, you guys. Whole bunch of random looking stuff on that throw. Just a bunch of scrap, you guys, but I see a bunch of fishing line dangling and a big old red jig. Check that out. Honestly, the hook on there does not look that great. Oh, look at that, you guys. I was cleaning the scrap off of there and I didn't even notice that. We got another jig. That one's just a teeny tiny orange guy, but the way the hook looks, I bet you you can still catch a fish with this thing. Feels like I grabbed something, whole bunch of, oh, what is that I see writing? Yes, I see writing on this thing, look at that. Whoa, look at, is that somebody praying? And it says, I think it says bros. You guys, this has gotta be an old Hills Bros uh, coffee can for sure, look at that. Holy smokes, not much left of that one. Ain't making no coffee with that anytime soon. And I thought we definitely had a couple other things. Looks like maybe just a bunch of scrap, but check this thing out, you guys. That is definitely the handle for something. And that's a pretty thick, heavy duty handle, if you ask me. You know, you're still in my way here, Mr. Iceberg. <laughs> scram, scram, Pam. Get out of here, ma'am. Feel some weight on there, but holy cow, I can't tell if it's just mud or what's going on. Oh no, a little something on there, you guys. Again, tons of scrap, tons of debris. That's literally every throw. But check this thing out here. What the heck do you think that is? Clean that out a little bit. Look at that one, you guys. You can see some threads inside that tube there. What the heck do you think that one is? Some kind of maybe electrical cover piece and you'd run some wires through there? I really don't know. Some kind of something. I might be pulling something out of the mud here. Oh yeah. I definitely got something. I'm gonna pull really, really slow here because 
That didn't stick very hard at all. So I don't want to lose it. I 100% have something. Yes. What do we got? Come on, buddy. Stay on there for me. Yes. What do we got? This is heavy too, I'm telling you. Whoa. Yeah, hold on a second. Clean some of the mud off of this sucker. Whoa. Look at this thing, you guys. What the heck is that? Oh, look at that. First of all, we got the old fishing lure dangling off of there. Almost didn't even see that one. We have another fishing jig. Just a little tiny one. These aren't worth much, but they are pretty cool. And the hook on this one still looks good. You're going fishing. But you guys, this thing, look at this. Oh, it has wheels. Yeah, dude, is this like an old 30s Roomba? The old vacuum, look at this thing. What do you think this is? There's 100% wheels on there, you guys, on both sides. I've never seen anything like that before. Some kind of rolling cart? I really don't know. Super cool find. You guys, I'm trying to put my phone in my tripod here and I keep pressing the side buttons. Apparently I pressed them too much and it says phone initiated emergency SOS. Mm, that's not good. That didn't make it far. Whoa, what do we got going on here? Oh, hold on, pause, pause. I see a rope and it's attached to what is that? Yeah, that's an electrical cord, you guys, 100%. Look it, you can see the writing on there still. I don't know what that says, but what is on the end of this? And why is there a rope tied to it? That's even weirder. Uh-oh, I have a feeling we're gonna rip this cord off or whatever it is attached to it. Oh no. Oh, look at that, you guys. It almost doesn't even look like it was attached to anything. Each end of this cord has like a loop on it. What the heck you think was going on there? And there's a string attached. I don't know what they were using that for. But you guys, we had a couple looking somethings on here. I was wondering if this wasn't like a license plate or something at first, you guys. It definitely doesn't look like it though. Maybe a, some kind of little furnace door off like an old school furnace. Is that some kind of handle knob? Yeah, it is. Cause if you flip it over, you can see like the locking mechanism part. Holy cow, pretty cool. What do you think that came off of? Maybe there's like an old school stove in there or something. Other than that, looks like a whole bunch of debris. We do have a stick hanging off of there and just a lot of fishing line. Ooh, a little something on there. Again, a bunch of scrap, you guys. You can't even avoid it. But check this little can on a bracket out. What in the world is that? Can kind of see in there if we get the right light. Nothing in there. But what the heck is that, you guys? The back end is closed up. I don't know, you guys. Looks like some kind of small canister or some kind of small tube on a bracket. Really weird. I think I just snatched me up something here, you guys. That's got some weight. I'm getting a little closer to the railroad here. Oh my, what is that? We might be hooked on a rock or something. But I think I have something here, yes. Whoa, we're like catching multiple things as we come up. Whoa, yup. I see a rope hanging off of something, you guys. Hold on, clean some of the mud off of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have quite a few things going on here, you guys. First of all, look at this uh, something with a rope on here. Oh, this is a homemade grappling hook or like a claw. Yup, you can see the hooks on there. Check that one out. The old homemade grappling hook. You can still see part of the rope on there. That sucker's all bent right up. Holy cow. Tons of rust on there. Whole bunch of clams. Super cool find. And we had something else on there underneath all the scrap debris. Check this thing out, you guys. There's definitely like some wires on there, like coils of wires. I'm pretty sure I found some stuff kind of similar to this before. I don't know if it's like some kind of electric electrical conductor type piece, but it almost looks like the stuff you would find like inside of a radio if you took the radio apart. Pretty funky, you guys. What the heck do you think that one came off of? Couple things on that throw, nice one. Whoa, 
whoa, what am I hooking into all of a sudden? Oh, I was like pulling something real nice and light and then all of a sudden I hit a, I hit a truck. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I think we popped off. Was that a rock or what was that? That was weird, man. That was weird. Oh, look at this, you guys. A little bitty scrap piece on there. But check that one out. That's definitely gotta be some kind of gas cap or some kind of maybe a barrel cap. Definitely some kind of cap because you can literally still see the rubber ring in there. Aha, uh -huh, I almost didn't even see that on there, you guys. Bingo, Flamingo. Check out that fishing jig. The hook does look a little rusty. We might need a new rubber, but I think that one might still be good yet. Score. Oh yeah, look at this, you guys. Whoa, that sucker's like blue. Now that looks like some kind of plate, you guys, like an actual like dinner plate. If you look real close, there's kind of just a small lip on there. Holy cow, man, the old blue dinner plate. They were cooking something, burnt a hole right in the bottom of that sucker. You ain't eating nothing off of that one. Boom, baby, snack time. Gotta have some of these, the old venison teriyaki, the old jerky. Mmm, I love these. Whoa, yo, what the heck is that there, you guys? First of all, looks like, uh, oh, I was gonna say maybe another handle off of something. Again, just so much scrap. But what the heck is the old shiny shiny there? You guys, the way that looks, it's like way too shiny, man. I had to have like literally just pulled this out of something, it seems like, because it looks like just the tip was exposed and getting covered in clams and rust. But that part of the shaft was like stuck inside of something. It had to be. Wow, what do you guys think that is? You can see right on the tip there, like a little CNC milled piece. I don't know what's going on with this thing, you guys. Oh, here we go. What is that heavy sound? Oh, you guys, no way. Look at what it is, man. We just caught us an old school iron. And this one still has part of the handle on there. I don't think I've ever found one with the handle still on there. We have found tons of these in the past. Before they had electricity and everything, this is what they had to iron their clothes. You would set this sucker on some kind of heating element or something, maybe a wood stove. Super cool, you guys. Something out there we just attached to. Played a slow wiggle game here, see if we can get it out of the mud. Don't want to pull too hard and too fast or it's gonna pop off. Come here, you. Oh, I think we got it. Yeah, come on, uh oh, or maybe not. Whoa, yo, that's a, hold on. If I step in front of me. Yeah, there's a literal hole here in front of me. That's, I gotta be careful. Wow, I should back up a little bit. That got pretty deep. Come here. We're pulling something, you guys, for sure. Yes, what am I pulling? Come on, buddy. Stay on there for me. Yes, I got it. What is this, you guys? Whoa, whoa. What the heck is this? Check this thing out. The closer you look to this, oh yeah, look at that. There's some uh, electrical wires hanging out of there. What in the world is this thing, you guys? Got like some small pipes coming off of there. I have never seen anything like that before, but it sure looked like an exhaust pipe or something until I saw the electrical wires. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? Dude, big old white something. Is that a bucket? Or is that like a cooking pot? No way. Check this flipping thing out, you guys. You gotta be kidding me right now. This is way too cool, man. You guys, it's literally some kind of white pot or maybe like a, yeah, it looks like an old cooking pot. It's got kind of like a red lip on there. It's like hidden completely by the clams. Maybe they were cooking some chili in there. That actually sounds really good right now. And now that I think about it, I think I'm actually gonna go home tonight and make some chili. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not gonna cook it with this pot though, I'll tell you that much. Something on there, it's gotta be. Feels heavier than just nothing. Oh yeah, look at you guys, bunch of scrap bits and debris again, of course. But look at this thing on there. What the heck is that? Almost looks like I could take it and go like this and it would extend an arm out of there or something. Look at that, what in the world? Do you think that thing is, you guys? No kidding, right next to my finger here, you can see like another CNC milled cutout type piece. There's like a notch in it. And the only reason I know exactly what that kind of is, is because back in the day, I actually used to be a CNC mill operator for like two years. And I used to put notches like this into these bars all the time. And what I was making when we were doing those were some kind of shaft that went inside of a snow blower. So I don't know if this is maybe a piece of a snow blower. Who the heck knows, you guys? You guys, my battery died. I had to change it here but check this out looks like i got me a little two for one first of all most of you guys probably already know what the heck these are it's actually been quite a while since i pulled one out of here but this is some kind of lid you guys i'm assuming it's a paint lid and then check this thing out it looks like some kind of cover piece for something you can see little tabs coming off of there now i don't know if maybe we clean this thing up if maybe there's some kind of symbol under there, is this maybe the centerpiece for some kind of hubcap? It looks like it might be something. Something here is really, really, really stuck in the mud, you guys. I can see a bunch of bubbles in there and it just does not want to come. I'm gonna just keep pulling real, real nice and gentle here. Or maybe I could, Pull not so gentle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My magnet's not moving. No, dude. You're kidding me. Oh, yeah. We're stuck hard, you guys. Real hard. I don't, you probably can't see it from here, but there's tons of bubbles. Something's bubbling out there. I don't know what it is, man, but if I have to, I'm going to grab the truck for this one because I am not leaving here without my magnet. Not without trying hard. Uh, oh my gosh. Dude, it's flipping moving, yo. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm at a different angle, you guys. I got snagged over there. And now I'm walking down shore here. This sucker's kind of moving. Yeah, like barely, but... Uh, I got it. It popped loose. What do I have here? Hold on a second. Dude, here it comes. I got it, you guys. Oh, oh, look at the bubbles. What is this? Whoa. Is that gonna hit me? What in the world is this? Oh my God. Whoa. Big old chunk of something going on here, you guys. I gotta get this on shore. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna end up cutting my waders. Look at this flipping thing. At this point, it really just looks like a giant chunk of scrap metal, but it's definitely like rounded right here. Now, if you guys remember in the past here before, we've pulled out an entire car hood. So maybe this has something to do with the car that could possibly be in here. I don't know, you guys, because the way this looks, it kind of looks like a wheel fender or something. I don't know. Big old chunk of cash money scrap metal here, you guys. Look at that one. Oh, 
look at that hanging off of there, you guys. I thought I seen some white. Dude, is that an old school? It is, it's a Mountain Dew can. Wow, it's actually still, I, I guess I wouldn't say in good condition. The back looks like it's completely chewed out, but you can still read the words Mountain Dew. What a find. Looks like you guys, I think so. I think we just caught us another flipping hubcap. Now this is our first one here today, but in this area we have to be close to 10, maybe even 15 hubcaps now. You can almost kind of see the letters under there, you guys. Super hard to tell, but what a super cool find. I can't believe how many of these we found in here. Unbelievably cool, man. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. I think these are so cool, man. And look at how clear the writing is on this thing. Again, you guys, this is another type of lid that we have found tons of in here. This one here is the old DuPont Nitromon lid. I've said it tons of times in the past, but if you don't know, that is literally some kind of dynamite chemical. Five pounds per unit. So I'm guessing this was like a container of like five pounds of chemical dust. I don't know if this chemical is illegal. I don't know if they just stopped making it, maybe the company moved, but I've never found these anywhere else ever except for this corner right here. Oh, look at that. Whoa. I thought that the magnet felt a little extra heavy, but I didn't see anything. Oh, you guys, what on planet Earth is this? It looks like a gigantic sinker, and it almost feels like it too. It's just like a chunk of, a solid chunk of metal with like two little prongs coming off there. I'm guessing maybe they were supposed to be attached like that and they just snapped off. What do you guys think that is? Some kind of weight for something. Oh, look at that one. No, no way, you guys. Hey, something shiny on there too. Oh, dude. First of all, you guys, before we see this shiny thing, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. But look at this. We caught a big old file. That sucker's huge, man. And it's like the half rounded file. This side is rounded. And then if you flip it over to that side, it's flat. You can still see the grooves and the ridges in there. I bet you this thing would still grind some stuff. But you guys, this little shiny piece under here, I think might be like, yes. This looks like an old school car cigarette lighter. And if you look on the inside there, you can kind of see like the heating coil or the heating element. You definitely don't see these anymore because they don't even put them in vehicles anymore. This is old school for sure, man. Unbelievable, man. That is really, really cool. you 
guys, unfortunately, that is going to wrap our video up here for today. When it's cold like this, I really can only last so long. But once again, you guys, we found tons of cool stuff. No doubt we will definitely be back here, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you in the next one.